Well, good morning, guys. A bit of a different vlog this time, um, as I am in Singapore. Yay! Sadly, as you would have seen by the title of this vlog, it's from confinement, sadly. But that's okay. Downloaded plenty of Netflix. Um, wi Fi is fantastic at the hotel, which is a real bonus. Uh, yeah, so just had my shower. Um, just chilling by the window. I'll show you the views in a little while when I do the room tour. Yeah, I'm okay actually, it's quite good. We've um, done a little WhatsApp group. Mental health is very, very important within this job. A lot of uh, crew sadly do suffer from quite bad loneliness really, bless them. So it's great if you just feel you need to chat, there's always someone on the end of the, the, uh, the phone that you can chat to you. Um, WhatsApp group, you can phone them, give them a little text. We had a bit of a laugh last night. So yeah, I think it will be okay. I thankfully don't suffer from that. I'm quite happy in my own little company. It's only for um, a couple of, well, I say a couple of days. That's still quite a long time, isn't it? I think all in all, it's 55 hours we are here in Singapore. Very quick coming through the airport. You're sort of ushered through, straight through immigration, straight onto a bus, and then straight to the hotel. So yeah, it's, a, it's an adventure, isn't it? That's the way I'm looking at it. It is an adventure. So yeah, just not gonna be a very long vlog really, but I will, you know, just film what I do in my little room confinement here in Singapore. See you soon. Hi guys, so I thought I'd just show you, um, this is what I've brought with me for my 55, 54, 55 hour room confinement in Singapore. So we have, as you can see, plenty of cooked rice and sachets, pouches, um, pasta in pouches. I've got a little, <laughs> that ramen noodle's been with me forever and a day. I've got some couscous. I've got some chili and some ravioli. Crisps of all sorts, obviously. I've got my cooker and my bowl. Here I have got some more rice. I don't know why I brought that. I think it must have fallen into my bag. I've got powdered um, peanut butter, which I uh, I love it actually and because it's not a liquid it can just get stuck in the old bag in a little box and then I've got sweetener porridge for tomorrow's breakfast I've got um, I brought decaf just so I, if I have a coffee at night I need to sleep so I brought decaf I've got my tea and then here is our little fridge and in our little fridge Ribena rolls I've got that there, that's a carbonara, that's for the way home. I'll cook that on board. Some goodies, obviously. Now I'm gonna try scrambled eggs in the cooker. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but we'll give it a go. Obviously I've got cherry diet coke, cheap one, Tesco's, thank you. A little bag of salad and some little yogurts in there. This is all the food that I'm having I should probably bring a bit back actually, but this is all I've brought with me for my room confinement. Um, I am trying to lose a bit of weight, so that is why I brought all this, so I can calorie count on the NutriCheck and I know exactly what I'm having. Best will in the world if you get um, room service. It could, you know, astronomical calories, I don't know, but this is what I'm doing. I'll see how it goes. I've not done it before. It's been a while since I've done room confinement. I've never done room confinement for, you know, two and a half days. I've done it for 24 hours, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Room. That's the airport there. Do you know, it's the first time I've stayed at an airport hotel and I am so impressed. I don't know if you can see across there, that is a little runway. I've seen a few planes taking off, but I do believe the main runway is over there. I've just seen a wide-bodied plane just take off, but I did see a little Singapore Airlines take off from that one. So you can see where I'll be sitting most of the evening. Sad, I know. But let me show you the room. It's beautiful. There we are, we have two beds there. Isn't that amazing? Oh, there we are, you can see it now. So two beds, a little, 
place to rest with a cup of tea or coffee. And then I'll pan around. Oh my gosh, I mean, look at that. Look at the orchids. In fact, I do believe my mum, I gave my mum orchids just like that when it was Mother's Day. But that is actually looking into the bathroom, which I'll show you in a minute. And here we have TV inserted. Then we have my little workstation where I'll be watching some YouTube videos and some things I've downloaded. And then bags. And then we have my little kitchenette area, as you can see. My dinner's cooking. I've got a mushroom risotto on the go. As you know, down there is the fridge. And this is the wardrobe area. I don't need to show you that because it's got all my stuff in it and you don't need to see that. And then this is the bathroom. How beautiful is this? Oh, that's me washing up liquid. Like a good girl, I brought that. And then plenty of water. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, it's just stunning. And there is a roller blind if you need privacy. I'm not a lover of bath, so I'm not sure I'll be using it if I'm being honest with you. But it's lovely to have the option. Isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love this. Isn't it? It's just so pretty. That little detail there makes all the difference, doesn't it? So there we are. It is, as I've said before, room confinement, but it is what it is. And I'm just happy to be here. Yep, lovely, lovely little room. And not a bad view, in my opinion. So here we are, my very first attempt at making scrambled eggs in my little cooker. Fingers crossed it goes okay. It's beginning to resemble something like scrambled egg. I'm feeling hopeful. And there we have scrambled eggs. Yay! Anyone got the number for MasterChef? I think I might apply. <laughs> Well, my lovelies, that is it. It is about 10 minutes time. I am getting collected. You have to be collected at this hotel. Taken down to the foyer, put on the bus, straight round the corner to the airport. And then away we go. It's been a very, very relaxing 55 hours here in Singapore. As you all know, Singapore is a very special place in my heart. Um, it's where it all began, it's where I wanted to start, oh, when I grew up, want to be an air stewardess, um, flying into Singapore with British Airways. It has been fantastic, really, considering I've been on my own in my room, obviously, um, not allowed out. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Hotel is amazing, the staff are amazing, so accommodating, and yeah, it's just been great fun. I hope you've enjoyed the little videos that I've put up, the shots of food. I mean, you don't have to live off pot noodles, evidently. Um, obviously, I don't live off pot noodles. Um, if you just want to sort of stretch yourself a little bit, you know, in the culinary department, then you can just do whatever you like. 
and I certainly have. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, little bags in the background there, ready to go. So guys, it's been great. Really, 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 really good fun, which is strange to say since I've been on my own, but there we are. Well, you take care. And if I get called again for another little trip, I'll take you with me. You take care and I'll see you soon.